Hey there guys, what's going on? It's DrewHD707 here, aka UK Game in UK Media. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to install the Pixel 1 um, 1.10.2 version um, and how to install Forge in order to be able to play Pixel 1 on your Minecraft. So here we are using the very default Minecraft. So this is literally as it states, like when you first download the um, Minecraft.exe or however it is, the Minecraft launcher as it is. This is the latest version of the launcher. So now I'm going to show you how to install Pixelmon. So the first thing you want to do is you want to run the version that you need because if there's no version, there's nothing to install Forge onto, nothing to install Pixelmon onto. So you need to run the latest version of the Pixelmon mod, which is not 1.11.2. So you, what you do is you go up here to the launch options and you add a new you add a new configuration. So we're going to call this um, Pixelmon or whatever you want to call it. And down here you want to go to, obviously you can see already see my current setup there, but we want to go 1.10.2 because that's the latest version. I'm just going to change the resolution real quick to my desktop resolution because I don't like it when it's not full screen. Um, so there's that there. And we're just going to save that. And you can also configure the, um, let's just go back into it, you can also change the game directory as well. So if you wanted to make a complete new directory for the game and not have it in the roaming folder, then you can do that. It's completely optional. Okay, so we're just going to save that and we're going to click on news again up here because that's where you select which version you're going to play. And there you can see we have 1.10.2 Pixelmon. Now, Pixelmon is not installed yet. This is not how you install Pixelmon. So it's just going to load the game for the very first time. And when it's done that, that's when things start to get interesting. Okay. So that's done, so it's now going to launch the Minecraft version um, 1.10.2, which is what you need for the latest version of Pixelmon. Um, and here we go, so you don't actually need to do anything from here, as you can see, there's no mods options, there's nothing so far, because Forge is not installed, you need Forge to get those options. So if we just click Quick Game, and then relaunch Minecraft, like that. Okay, um, it's still, still we can see that there's 1.10.2. Now, I'll show you just what we did there. If we go to the Minecraft directory, which we installed it into, if you don't know how to get there, just press the Windows and R button. And then type in percent app data percent down in the bottom there. And that's how you can find the roaming folder. It takes you to app data roaming. So here's the dot minecraft folder where we installed our thing to. Now basically what we're doing is see this folder here called versions. We're making sure that the version exists before we install Forge. So you can see here we've already got Forge. So let me just delete that. Um, actually, that's not the right one. That's an old version of Forge. Let me just delete this 1.10.2 version of Forge here. Also, guys, Optifine is highly recommended if you're running a lower PC. Also, just a quick um, nice little hint. Optifine actually now comes with shader packs built in, so even if you have a nice beefy PC, shader packs is uh, a good reason for to install Optifine upon, because it doesn't require Forge to be able to run the shader packs, it just comes defaultly in Optifine, which is amazing. Okay, so that's what we did, we made sure there was a version to install Forge in. Now, in the in the link below is going to be a link to the Pixelmon website, let me just show you that real quick. Um, whoops, not that one, it's this one here. So on the Pixelmon website, if you just hit the downloads button just here, um, you can find all the versions down here, as you, could, as you saw in my versions folder, I had a 1.7.10 version, which um, is the version before Bucket was removed from, from Minecraft, um, and here's every version. So the one that we're going to be installing today is this very, very top one here, um, and this, if you click here under the Forge link, it takes you to this Minecraft Forge page where you can download the, the recommended version. I, I always recommend to download the recommended version because it's recommended, um, but you can, if you like, uh, download the latest version. You just install this universal version, which is just a zip folder which contains everything inside that you need for Forge. Okay, so we can get rid of that now, and also we're going to need this link here, um, this one here, the, the download button here, which takes you to this page, which allows you to download Pixelmon for 5.0.2. Now you can use the Pixelmon launcher, which is also on the Pixelmon website, um, this one here, which will download the new version for you, and, and doesn't need to download every single file again, but I much prefer to do it this way because I like to use shaders. Those are basically all the links. I'll, st I'll stick those links in the description, guys, or you can just Google Pixelmon. It takes you straight there. It's the first link. What we're going to do is we're just going to install Forge. So double click on the link from there, which is the Windows installer. We're going to run it. It's going to come up with a dialog box such as this, and you're going to want to in install client. So you need to install this to the same place in which you just created your um, your user profile in, in Minecraft down here. So when we went to launch options, etc., if you change the directory file, you need to change this to exactly the same place. But this is just the default um, directory where Pixelmon or Minecraft is actually installed. So we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Wait for that to unpack. It should be very, very quick. And then at the end, it should tell you that all libraries were successfully downloaded and um, and installed. So here we go. Successfully in full client, uh, forge, blah, 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 into the launcher and grab 14 required libraries. Which options now we see in here is created a new profile for us called forge 1.10.2. 
let's just load it up so I can show you what it's like. And we'll just click play. So here it is. This is the forged mod loader. Down here in the bottom left. Uh, let me just make that big again. I don't know why it went small. I guess because we changed the profile. Down here in the bottom left, you can see that we've got four mods loaded. Four mods is active and it's now powered by forge. And you can go in here and you can collect mods. And there it is. Everything is in there that you need. Now we're all set just to install Pixamon. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go back to that directory that we were in before. Percent app data. Percent. And we're going to go back to the directory here. Now, I already have a mods folder here because I didn't delete my old mods folder. Because what was inside the mods, inside this one, I've got previous versions of Pixamon for my other profiles. Um, but this should be blank. If you've never installed Pixamon before, this folder should be blank. Um, so all you do is download the Pixamon from the website on here, on this one, just click this button here, follow the links, download it, and all the files are safe, guys. Anything that's off the Pixelmon website, they're always safe files. Um, and then you can just drag the Pixelmon into there, and that's it, Pixelmon is installed. Okay, so we're just gonna open back up our Minecraft. Okay, so something else I recommend to do is because my Pixelmon is quite beefy on the computer, it needs a little bit more RAM in order to run it. So what I've done is I've gone back into the launch options, clicked on advanced settings, okay? Just click this ad advanced settings button here, it'll go from that, it'll give this warning, just click okay. Go to forge and down here um, in the JVM arguments, this, this is usually default to off, um, but I've changed this from one gigabyte to two gigabyte. And you can do that, it does originally look like that and it'll literally just go one to two. Um, I recommend two, but I use four because I'm using shaders, um, which is a little bit more draining on the RAM. So basically that's that's all I've done there. Um, so we're just gonna go back here and I'm gonna launch it. So now we have Pixelmon installed, we have Forge installed, and hopefully when we click on this and we click play, it should launch straight into the Pixelmon launcher. So here comes the Forge mod loader, and it's gonna load Forge and it's gonna load Pixelmon. Okay, so now we can see down in the bottom left that it says five mods loaded, five mods active. That's exactly what you wanna see. If you just click on mods, you can see in here that Pixelmon 5.0.2 is down in the bottom and if we just quickly load up a single player world I'm not going to create customize any settings I'm just going to click create a new world and then we should be met with the um, with the Pokemon screen where we can choose our starter Pokemon which is just awesome because in 5.0.2 you can have the choice of Chespin, Fennekin and Froki which is just it's amazing here we go here's the screen I was on about let me just maximize this it is a little bit um laggy on that very first screen but that's because this isn't usually in the game. So now you've got the choice from all these starters and the Trico. And now in the Pixel one, here we go, you can see that there's Pokeloots and let me check out my Trico, there's my Trico. And you can see that it all runs fine. Um, however, like I said, if I just quickly press F3, you can see up the top that it is actually using 42% oh, of the RAM that I just allocated. So I did just allocate four gigs of RAM and it is actually using nearly two gigs of those RAM, but this is in single player. In multiplayer, it's a little bit less demanding because it's not having to, to generate off the system. But what I have played of it is just absolutely amazing and I love playing this game. So guys, that is how you install Pixel One onto the server. Now, if you want to install Optifine, like I suggested, this is not Optifine, by the way. This is no Optifine included. And we go to mods folder. Um, not that one, that's my other directory. And if we just go back to the directory for Minecraft and we go to mods. All we need to do is go to the Optifine website and I will link that down in the description. And I've downloaded a version for 1.10.2. Um, that's important that you install it for that one. Don't, in, don't install a previous version or a later version hoping that it will work because nine times out of 10 it won't because they're just not compatible. Um, and all you're gonna do quite literally is drag it in there. But I, okay, we're then gonna launch Minecraft just like that. By the way, guys, I've got that set to a keyboard shortcut if you're wondering how I get it up so quickly. Um, and then we're just going to let's go back. We we'll just click the same one and it should just lo should load the Optifine in from the mods folder. I'm just going to load back into that single player world. We do have um, we do have the Optifine installed. So if we just go to options and then we go to video settings, you can also see that there's now this option for shaders. Um, as you can see, I've got my shaders in there already. Uh, let's turn those on. Okay. And I left all the config folders for my Optifine in, so I know what buttons zoom already, um, which will be set by default to C, which is actually another button in Pixelmon. So if you are using Optifine and you're using shaders, you want to zoom, uh, then you need to go into the control options in here. 
and just change it from C or whatever when you, when you, when the Pixel One's installed. Without the Pixel One, it's fine as it is. C doesn't do anything else, but in Pixel One, it it has another function. So in theory, yeah, it should have loaded straight into Pixel One. And now you can see. Sorry, this is on such a small screen here, guys. Let me just maximize it for you. Now you can see that Pixel One. There you go. There's a good old Seraphia flying around. Um, we've spawned in some sort of tiny, tiny little island. This is like the worst spawn in ever you could think of. And over there, you see we've got a some NPCs and some Pokemon spawn. You've got Togekiss, Mariel, Butterfree, Krabby, Weeping Bell, Bellsprout, and something in the tree over there. Could be a trainer, but there's a there's a move relearn or an NPC or something to do with Pixelmon. But just look how amazing this looks with the shaders, guys. Anyway, guys, this has been a great video tutorial for you. I hope it's been useful. If it has been useful, don't forget to hit that like button for me, hit the subscribe button. Have fun playing with your Pixelmon. And we will see you again in the next video. Have a good day, guys.